G'day, and what a marvelous event the US GP was from Austin. I'm gonna go through what I experienced, and I can tell you there were plenty of stories from the race because this was the first time we've been back into the paddock since March of 2020. So hang around. The Circuit of the Americas came alive over the last three days with some sensational racing and a crowd that was just begging for more. They were noisy, they were excited. It was the biggest and probably second most enthusiastic crowd of the year. The most enthusiastic, the Dutch. They just killed it. But uh, well done to those Americans that came out and supported the sport. There are so many stories, so I'm gonna get straight into it now. First of all, thank you to the Williams people for uh, hosting me at their function last night at the W Hotel. It was excellent. Surfshark is a browser extension and an app that allows me to position my devices anywhere in the world. That allows me to use the internet as if I was in those countries. Another advantage involves Netflix. If I log on to America or the UK, I don't get Australian content anymore, I get what those markets provide, and that can open up a whole range of new content. If you're looking for a VPN, click on the link in the description, use the promo code KIM, and you'll get 83% off, plus three months free. Oh, and there's a money back guarantee. Thank you, Surfshark. But let me go straight to race day, and I got out there early, and before the gates had opened for the public, and there was a line of at least 500 to 600 metres of people queuing to get in, to get a spot on the hill at the first corner. When the gates opened, bang, they were there, and later in the day, huh, it was chock-a-block, no masks, and everybody having a great time. I should say that you can actually see the city from uh, the first corner at the track. Let's go to pre-race, and I'm going to jump straight in with what I thought was... Uh, a classic move on Daniel Ricciardo's part, dressing up like this for an interview on German TV. And I can tell you that the interview team had no idea that Daniel was gonna roll up dressed like that. And I think the hat was even uh, an afterthought. Somebody, I think, provided him with the hat, but as you can see, he's got a toothpick in his mouth. And I think the icing on the cake for me was when George Russell was walking towards the driver's parade area. He stopped, thought it was hilarious, came over and took a photo of Daniel with his phone. Of course, Daniel is a huge fan of this particular part of the world. As well as being allowed into the paddock, we were also allowed onto the grid. And it was such a buzz being out there with stars like Shaquille O'Neal. He is a man mountain. And thank you to those people who spotted me and sent me pics and vision of me in the background there of uh, Shaquille. Yes, he's a, a tower of a man and a DJ as well. And there was also a fair amount of talk about this woman, Megan the Stallion. I must admit I had no idea who she was, but she's got more Instagram followers than there are people living in Australia, so she's pretty popular. But she wasn't so much uh, popular with the audience that saw her on television. I haven't seen the vision, but uh, just judging from the comments on the post that I put up on race day, it appears she's offended quite a few people with her behaviour on the grid towards Martin Brundle. But she uh, was out on track, very busy, and then she came off the track and hung around the pit lane for about 90 seconds and did this photo shoot with her photographer. And I was right next to her and I thought, oh yeah, I'll shoot this as well. And some of you made amusing comments about uh, perhaps being one of Lewis's outfits, although I'm pretty sure he wouldn't wear that. Also on the grid was Danica Patrick, and uh, she did some commentary too, I think, for Sky over the weekend, and uh, she is a NASCAR racer, or was, I should say. William Fitchner was at the track. He's uh, an actor that uh, is in a show called Prison Break, and was very chatty, lovely fellow to talk to. Ben Stiller caught him a couple of times in the paddock. Really relaxed, here he is with uh, Lewis's photographer, the 13th Witness. Serena Williams was in the house, both here in the paddock and out on the grid. There were rumours that Brad Pitt and Michael Jordan were going to appear, um, but unfortunately Brad Pitt cancelled and I'm not sure what happened to Michael Jordan. But George Lucas was at the track. I didn't get a photo. Unfortunately, Renee Zellweger, I did get a photo of her. Now this is Renee and you wouldn't know it, would you? Uh, I asked her if she'd take her mask off, but she said she would stick to the rules, which is fair enough. Um, but really, uh, I had no chance of telling who she was. Somebody tipped me off and, yeah, I quite liked her in movies, in particular one with Tom Cruise, whatever that was back in the whenever, and also her Bridget Jones movies. One of my best posts over the weekend on Instagram was one regarding Zach Brown's tattoo. It is the Monza track, and Zach was really happy to show it off. In fact, his son Max, seen here, mentioned that uh, Dad may have endured a bit of pain having it done. Winnie Harlow was at the track. She was throwing shoes back up into the balcony. Why? Well, I'll go into this now. The crowd that stands on those first and second level balconies, particularly on the Saturday, are vocal, hilarious, 
entertaining and persistent. And every time a driver walks past, you know that they're walking past because the whole place erupts with Checo, Checo, or um, Charles, Charles, look up here. And what they'll do, the smart ones, is they'll lower stuff for signing on a string. And here's caps with pens inside. And occasionally they'll throw a shoe down, someone will sign it and then they'll toss the shoe back up. But they don't always get up there the first time, but it's quite a fun thing. And even Yuki got into it on race day, chucking some stuff and Pierre chucking t-shirts back up there. There was one person who was quite, what's the word? Forthright, Daniel threw a cap up there and um, somebody grabbed it. And then the next thing you know, they've thrown it down and they've shouted out, sign it. I don't think he did sign it. And an actual fact, when Daniel was being interviewed uh, in this interview here where he's wearing the cowboy hat and the singlet, he was uh, being constantly cheered from upstairs and it was at a point where I thought if you were on television watching this, you're getting nothing from Daniel. All you're getting is his wry grin and uh, him looking up and laughing at these people above him. But it's a really good atmosphere and it is totally unique to Austin. I've not seen anything like that enthusiasm from people up in those balconies anywhere. And still on the Daniel Ricciardo theme, he did drive Dale Earnhardt's NASCAR. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get anywhere near him when he exited the car. But I did manage to shoot through a gate. It was great to see Nico Hulkenberg in the paddock. Of course, he is a new dad. And I took a couple of pictures of him while he was sitting down. Then he turned to me and he said, hang on, hang on, wait. And he got his phone out and took the cover off and he's got his phone up to his ear. I mentioned the story to my wife and said, I have no idea why he's doing that. And she said, he's got to deal with a phone company. And then I remembered he put a couple of posts up on Instagram. He wanted his sponsor to get some mileage out of that. As an aside, Nico Hulkenberg is currently test driving for IndyCar in Alabama. One of the joys of being allowed back in the paddock is I can now go and shoot the drivers as they emerge from the FIA garage after the race. Daniel Ricciardo went over to Carlos Sainz afterwards and they chatted for a brief moment about what I'm not sure. I was a little bit far away, but that's an encounter that you don't often see. If you follow me on TikTok, you might have seen a recent post, which was just a short one about the driver that I've never really photographed maskless except for one opportunity in Bahrain, but it was a long shot. That's Mick Schumacher. Well, I've realized that when they come out of the garage at the end of the race, they have no mask on. So these are the only shots I have of Mick maskless while he's drinking. If you're traveling with your pet on an aircraft and the pet is traveling in the hold, make sure you include a frozen bottle of water. Why? Because condensation forms on the outside of the bottle, allowing your dog to drink throughout the flight. On the subject of families, here's Sergio Perez's family who were all there to cheer him on to his third place finish with dad, mum, sister, Paola, sister-in-law, Ileana, brother, Antonio, and on the right is Checo's wife, Corolla. Other moments that come to mind from my four days at the GP are these two fellas choreographing some Ghostbusters walk, I think it was, certainly enjoying themselves. Carlos Sainz likes a coffee. I can tell you that because uh, he went straight to the machine on several mornings that we were at the track this weekend. And on the Friday, I photographed him with probably three or four other photographers and a couple of video cameramen. He looked up at us at one stage and said, I'm just making a coffee, guys. Good natured, of course. And then he proceeded to make his coffee whilst we all watched on in amazement. He even offered me an espresso, but I don't drink the stuff. So it was wasted on me. You remember that last week, I had one day's notice of a giveaway of a couple of tickets to the Austin race and a lovely woman by the name of Liz Rodriguez won it. Well, I can tell you, Abu Dhabi, I'll have another package and it won't be general admission. It'll be something impressive. And if you're a fan of Checo Perez, you're going to enjoy this prize that I'll be giving away next week. And I won't say exactly what it is because I haven't fine-tuned it yet, but his manager, Lewis, has arranged something special for me. And more about that on Instagram and perhaps in a separate video. Thanks for your full attention. If you've liked the video, click the like button, subscribe, notify. Yep, that's all great. Members get free things. Have a look at my member packages. You'll find all of my images at ProStarPix.com for editorial and personal use. My photo books are available to most countries in the world. All you have to do is get on to kimilman.com and you can order them there. And for my best picks live from the track and all during the week, head to Instagram at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. Good natured, good natured, but uh, good natured and we 
good-natured, good-natured of course, 